All right, Shalom. This is the brother Atazawamia from GMS South Carolina camp. I want to first and foremost give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, taught me this truth. Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and sincerity. All right, I'm going to do this quick, quick uh, lesson. All right, and um, this is a, a page where the brother from London. The London camp from GMS Fear the Most High, the brothers from uh, that London camp, they sent me this info about Islam, and um, basically, I'm gonna put the the link in the description box. But it goes in, and you know, thoroughly show that Islam is not is is false, that it is false and it's not true. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the defin definitions. All right, I'm going to look up children of Israel and see what it says from the Quran, okay, because these are quotes from the Quran, all right, because I said it in the sit down, all right, and, um, you know, this is just on the children of Israel that the children, even in the Quran, it, it, it says that the children of Israel are the chosen people. It says this term, Beni uh, Israel, is found in 12 different surahs and has at least 28 ayahs verses. It must be books in, in the Quran. And they give you the scriptures, or not scriptures, or they give you where it's located in the Quran, the chapter and the verse. Alright. Now it says this, it says, uh, O children of Israel, call to mind the special favor which I bestowed upon you, and that I prefer you to all others for my message. Okay? Now that's from the Quran. Why would they in the Quran be talking about the children of Israel and then quote that they are the f f favored all right, and preferred above all others? Here it is again. It says, O children of Israel, call to mind the special favor which I bestowed upon you, and that I prefer you to all others for my message. This is according to the Quran, it was Allah, which that's not the name of the Heavenly Father. His name is uh, Yahweh, and his son's name, who you really call Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, It was Allah who preferred the O children of Israel above all others it was not the Israelites who declared that they were the chosen people and and that statement right here is true because we didn't declare that we was the chosen people the Lord chose the children of Israel which the children of Israel are you so called Negroes Latinos and Native American descent okay so that right there I'm just going to stick to that point these scriptures right here I'm going to prove it in the scriptures. Okay. So that's from the Quran. It says, O children of Israel, that they are the chosen. Okay. Alright. This is Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Chapter 1, verse 1. So you will know who. Who's it? Um, who the, who the book of Deuteronomy is speaking to? Deuteronomy one and one. It says, "These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side of Jordan in the wilderness in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Paran and Tophle, To or Tufael, and Laban and Hazeroth and Dizab." Okay, so Moses speaking unto the children of Israel. Alright. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It says, The Lord thy God, oh, excuse me, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people 
that are upon the face of the earth now here in the Quran it says basically the same thing it says what O children of Israel call to mind the special favor which I bestowed upon you and that I prefer you to all others O children of Israel call to mind the special favor which I bestowed upon you and that I prefer you to all others for my message it says according to the Quran it was Allah who preferred the old children of Israel above all others and it was not the Israelites who declared that they were the special people and what the scriptures we know that the scriptures are true but that's just the contradiction of of um the Quran because you know they try to say well Ishmael was the chosen in, in their own book the Quran it says that what the children of Israel are chosen and you already know in the Bible it says right here Deuteronomy 7 and 6 it says for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God the Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth okay talking about Israel because we got it in the first Deuteronomy 1 and 1 Moses is speaking to Israel okay so the Lord did not set his love upon you nor chose you because ye were more in number than any people for ye were the fewest of all people because we're the youngest nation out of all nations on the earth the nation of Israel you so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans okay it says but because the Lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and, with, and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt know therefore that the Lord thy God he is the most high the faithful power which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations and repayeth them that hate him to their to their face to destroy them he will not be slack to him that hate of him he will repay him to his face that's right okay so the Lord chose Israel all right Psalms 105 and 6 it says O ye seed of Abraham his servant ye children of Jacob his chosen all right so the chosen seed of Abraham was Isaac not Ishmael and through Isaac he had Jacob and Jacob became the chosen which is who the nation of Israel he is the Lord our God his judgments are in all the earth he have remembered his covenant forever the word which he commanded a thousand generations which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant plain Psalms 135 and 4 it says the Lord have chosen Jacob unto himself and Israel for a peculiar treasure that's, that's so bloody man. all right that's right second Samuel 722 it says wherefore thou art great O Lord God for there is none like thee neither is there any power besides thee according to all that we heard we have heard with our ears and what one nation in the earth is like thy people even like Israel whom God went to redeem for a people to himself and to make him a name and to do to, for you great things and terrible for thy land before thy people which thou redeemest to thee from Egypt from the nations and their gods for thou has confirmed to thyself thy people Israel Israel to be a people unto thee forever and thou Lord art become their God okay and now Lord God the words that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house establish it forever and do as thou hast said and let thy name be magnified forever saying the Lord of hosts is the God over Israel and let the house of thy servant David be established before thee that's right so Yahweh about your mouth Shah is, the, is the God of Israel okay because he chose them okay yeah 
Amos 3 and 1 it says hear this word that the Lord spoke against you O children of Israel against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt saying you only have I known of all the families of the earth therefore will I punish you for your iniquities okay all right Malachi 3 and 6 I'm going to wrap it up. Malachi 3 and 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. All right. So the Lord hasn't changed. He's still going to deal with Israel. All right. Because this Isaiah 14 and 1 is a future prophecy. It says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. Okay. Will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. All right, so this is this is a future prophecy, and it's gonna to come to pass. So that proves even in these in in these uh, last days, the Lord did, never done away with Israel, and we still His chosen people. Okay, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and that stranger is Israelite foreigners. Okay, all right. So you know, that's it. And like I said, this is from the Quran. The Quran said this. All right, it says, O children of Israel. All right, so you know I ain't BSing. It says, O children of Israel, call to mind the special favor which I bestowed upon you, and that I prefer you to all others for my message. O children of Israel, call to mind the special favor which I bestowed upon you, and that I prefer you to all others for my message according to the Quran all right it was Allah who preferred the old children of Israel above all others it was not the Israelites who declared that they were the chosen people okay all right so that means the Quran is is not it's it's a contradiction the Bible is not a contradiction the Quran is a contradiction proving once again that it's it's a false religion okay and your own so-called holy book cuts you, you Arabs, all right? And all you simple-ass Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that want to be Muslims, uh, uh, read, your, read your damn Quran if you want to come up and battle the Israelites because you really fighting a losing battle because if you a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, you're an Israelite, according to the Bible. And we that's what we're telling you, you the chosen people, you worried about Ishmael, which is the so-called Arabs. They're not the chosen people. And their own madness, the Quran cuts them. So with that, I want to say all praises to Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone taught me this truth. Shalom to the Akim out there pushing the truth. The water to the brothers uh, from London that sent me this info. All right. Yahweh by Shemal Shai, Barakatham. All right. And Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shemel Shai Baraka Thumb to the Akim out there pushing the truth to the elect. Alright, this is the brother Atazawamia saying Shalom.